If you play a big role in the transportation and logistics industry, you know that a lot of behind the scenes work has to take place to arrange a shipment. If you ship hazardous materials, there are additional requirements monitored by the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration and the Department of Transportation. Depending on your industry, automotive, agricultural, industrial, and specialty chemical fields, these hazmat shipping requirements differ. To qualify to haul a hazmat load, both the carrier must have a hazmat certificate registered with the DOT and the driver performing the load must have a hazmat certificate on their CDL. In 2014, the FMCSA rolled out a new regulation meant to keep the roads safe from commercial drivers carrying large amounts of liquids or gases freight without proper training. All states began enforcing this regulation in July 2015. In order to make these changes, the FMCSA changed the definition of tanker endorsed, meaning even those who are driving dry vans, flatbeds, reefers, and box trucks were required to hold a tanker endorsement on their CDL. Working with a responsible care certified provider holds many advantages for your company. The provider will understand the requirements to ship your chemicals, provide extensive carrier vetting, have a selection of many approved carriers, they understand the liabilities of moving hazardous chemicals, and be committed to doing all it can for sustainability. As a responsible care partner, we at Trinity are committed to improving our environmental, health, safety, and security performance for all our functions. It's easy to see the complicated aspects of hazmat shipments, but here at Trinity, our carrier compliance team takes care of monitoring carrier certificates and ensuring trucking companies are adhering to these regulations before arranging the hazmat loads. To learn more or to request a quote on your shipment, visit trinitylogistics.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest logistics, news, and education.